Objective To study about the venation. The arrangement of veins and veinlets in the lamina of leaf is termed as venation. Veins are made up of vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. In angiosperms, venation is of two types. Reticulate venation and parallel venation. Reticulate venation. The midvein produces many lateral veins and veinlets. Veinlets are repeatedly branched and form a network called reticulum. It is observed in dicots. Smilax and Dioscorea are the monocots with reticulate venation. Reticulate venation is classified into two kinds based on the number of midveins. Pinnate reticulate venation and Palmate reticulate venation. Pinnate reticulate venation. In this venation, the leaf has only one midvein. The veinlets form a network. This venation is seen in the leaves of Mangifera and Ficus. Palmately reticulate venation. In this venation, a leaf has two or more midveins. It is of two kinds. Palmately convergent reticulate venation and palmately divergent reticulate venation. Palmately convergent reticulate venation. In this venation, many midveins arise from the base of the lamina, spread upwards, and meet at the tip of the leaf blade. This venation is seen in Sisyphus. Sisyphus is the generic name of the Indian plum. This is a member of family Ramnaceae. Palmately divergent reticulate venation. In this venation, many midribs arise from the base of the lamina and diverge from one another towards the margins of the leaf blade. This venation is seen in Rickinus and Gossipium. Rickinus is the generic name of castor. Gossipium is the generic name of cotton. Parallel venation. In this venation, all lateral veins run parallel to each other. They do not form a network. Veinlets are absent. It is generally observed in monocots. Colophyllum and eryngium are the dicots with parallel venation. Parallel venation is divided into two types based upon number of midveins present. Pinnate parallel venation and palmately parallel venation. Pinnate parallel venation. In this venation, the leaf has only one midvein. It gives many lateral veins. These lateral veins run in parallel manner towards the margin. This venation is seen in the leaves of Musa. Musa is the generic name of the banana plant. Palmately parallel venation. In this venation, the lamina has two or more midribs that run upwards. It is divided into two categories. Palmately convergent parallel venation and palmately divergent parallel venation. Palmately convergent parallel venation. In this venation, many midribs that arise from the base of the lamina run parallel and meet towards its apex. This venation is seen in the leaves of Oriza 
and triticum. Oriza is the generic name of the rice plant. Triticum is the generic name of the wheat plant. Palmately divergent parallel venation. In this venation, many mid veins arise from the base of the lamina. They diverge towards the margin of the leaf blade, away from each other. This venation is seen in Borassus. Borassus is the generic name of the Palmyra palm. Functions of venation Veins provide rigidity to the leaf blade. Veins act as channels of transport of water, minerals and food material.